From the late 18th to the early 19th century, Burma under King Lalobaya was at the peak of its glory. Its troops conquered many other parts of the world, two of which were Aranka and Assam, under the control of the Britain in India. Burma undermined the British. Therefore, they were defeated in the First Anglo-Burmese War from 1824 to 1826 and signed the Treaty of Yandabo in 1826 to give Assam, Manipur, Arankan, and Tenasserim to the British. After the Second Anglo and Burmese between 1852 and 1853, the British annexed the rest of Lower Burma and added British Burma to India as the new province. In just two weeks, in November 1885, the Third Anglo and Burmese were ended when Upper Burma was occupied on January the 1st in 1886. During the colonization, politically, many Indians became official in Burma in administration thanks to the British because they got used to the British way and spoke English well. While medicine and education were introduced into Burma, many Indians occupied a lot of professional positions. The British also restructured Burmese economy. They started to impose law and order so that the administration could earn more money from the province. In order to enhance trade, the British extended communication, constructed roads and railroads. They founded Burma forest service to take care of valuable resources. They also developed the Irrawaddy Delta to become the world rice growing area. The British provoked the ethnic conflict in which some Burmans considered themselves as superior to the other minorities. English were the one who made the significant decisions about citizen lives and economy. English was substituted Burmese for the nobles. The British ignored the importance of Buddhism. They removed Thatha Nabai, Supreme Patriarch, and the administration of Sangha, the Buddhist clergy. They replaced with modern secular education. Due to problems, the British brought to Myanmar many nationalists developed the hostile toward British rule. Because of the attack of the British on Buddhism, the nationalism on Myanmar was started by the act of Young Men Buddhist Association, as known as YMBA. Later, many students from university and secondary school began to demonstrate over the mistake in the colonial educational system. After that, in 1920s, there were a general council of Burmese association, Myanmar Athin Ju Kiyi or GCBA, Sakin Aung San and Sakin Tantun, who were in YMBA, found a way to defend Buddhism from Britain bad treatment, boost native education, restore Burmese military reputation, and focus on the economy benefit for the native peasants and workers. Because the government sent troops to suppress demonstration and many Burmans were killed and wounded, the nationalist movement reached its peak. There were a lot of people attended the movement, notably such as Karao Han, patron of the Doman Ba, Asia Yan, Dr. Bama, Founder of the Sinya Tha Party, Ubape, the leader of the United General Council of Buddhist Association Party, Yu So, the founder of the Mio Jit Party, nationalist, and many other activists who were students. The independents were approaching in 1931 when the government of Burma Act decided to make Burma and India apart and gave more seats for some minorities. Aung San, the first general secretary of the Communist 
Party of Burma joined hands with the Chinese Communist Party and called for the help from Japan to bolster Burma with weapons, money, etc. They established Burma Independence Army as known as BIA and drew more support from other people. 30 comrades set 3,000 criminals who took houses from Karen, Chinese, and Indians. On March 5, 1941, part of BIA came from Wakama and the main part of BIA arrived. The Ministry of for the Agriculture led the communists and Aosan brother-in-law, Sakin Santun, hold the peasantry in many parts of the country. The leftists also went against the collaboration with the Japanese. The nationalist movement spread across the countries, not being able to withstand the threat of the uprising. The British made a decision to give independence to some Asian countries, including Myanmar. After colonization, the coup named as the Revolutionary Council and for national unity. They restructured Myanmar to socialism. According to them, the policy under socialism was socialism, equality, and neutrality. It means the Revolutionary Council government nationalized all businesses, even small shops. During the time, the production would decrease. Myanmar used to be the largest rice exporter in Asia, but now there are lack of food to survive. Those factories are belonging to the government work effectively. Many officials were corrupted. The government underestimated the ethnic conflict. In the attempt of remaining of equality, the revolutionary council dismissed any ethnic groups and stop the teaching of other languages but Burma in school as well as the activities of Christian community. About foreign relations to be neutral, the government withdrew almost all international organization and kept its economy isolated from other countries. Consequently, a number of Western countries halted their financial aid. Domestically, Burmans went against the government and they were suppressed violently. Many casualties were reported. Eventually, the army stepped in and claimed as the government with the state law and other restoration council as known as LSLORC. Myanmar was again under military rule without elections. Nguyen and his friend came to the power and wrote their own constitutions. To let them remain the power, Myanmar was renamed as Socialist Republic of Burma. They governed the country harshly and cruelly, which violated people's rights. Anyone protesting would be imprisoned or killed by the army. Aung San Suu Kyi, the, uh, the daughter of Aung San, had many switches for democracy in political rat gathering. Later, she was banned from it and confined to her house since 1989. Until now, the general still keeps their controls of Burma. In conclusion, Burma has to struggle with the colonization from the British economically and politically. However, even after the independence, it has to have problems from the administration of the army. The country was isolated from the world and on the way to become backward compared to other countries. In my opinion, Burma should have an open door policy to get help technologically and economically from more developed countries.